I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in then. <laughs> Squeeze banana. All right. So, by the way, I'm just gonna say this now, and I'm gonna start mentioning it on streams. Uh, I've said it before, but people don't listen, so I just want to reiterate, and I want to make this a new rule on my stream. Okay, get ready for this. All right, my streams are my own. My streams are my business. Okay. Literally, they're my business. Like, this is my job, okay? They're so angry that I do this for a living and they have to go work their shitty fucking 9 to 5 job or whatever it is. If I feel the need to mention things such as, hey guys, would you like to support the stream or whatever and mention the ways you can support or anything like that, that's my prerogative. It's not yours. It's not your business to bring up, oh, look, I think it's a slow stream tonight and people should support and stuff like that. That's literally not your Something place nor your job. It's not appreciated and a lot of people get annoyed by it. So it's a new rule. You are not allowed to mention a slow night. You are not allowed to mention that people need to step up and contribute. If I see that kind of behavior on my streams, that is a moderating action, in which case you will be timed out and or banned from the stream, just as if you broke any other rule. It's my stream, my choice if I wanna bring that up. If you keep bringing it up, you're out of here. It's that simple. I'm the exception to the rule, all right? Now the thing is, has it been a rule before? It has, but it's never been like a rule that I outright spoke and said stop. You know, sometimes I saw people doing it too much, I would mention it. But it's that simple. You know, people don't want to be advertised to all night. And there's some trolls who come in here, they act like they're regular viewers, and then they'll just say that shit all night because they want to annoy people who are legit viewers. So if I see it, you're out of here. It's that simple. DSP cult leader. All right, so I'm going to remove Evil Ann because Evil Ann is literally saying every troll contrarian thing possible. Everyone else tonight saying, hey, the volume was too lo loud, lower it. They're just sitting there saying, oh, the volume's too low, like it louder. So you can say goodbye and never come back. Okay. Oh! Bye, Dad. Lord Prince Albert says, have I ever been so drunk I fought a goat? No. The drunkest I ever was was probably in the first half of the 2000s. I was working as a... Um, intern at a life insurance company and they flew us out to their annual meeting and while we were staying at the hotel they had us go to uh, like a, a party at another hotel with other workers like, from the company and I drank so much that I lost, I, I forgot where I was and I just wanted to pass out because I was so tired because I drank so much so I was like, oh, I'm going to leave this hotel and go to the other hotel by myself and get to the room and pass out, but I didn't know how to do that so I was leaving, and I was like, where do I go? And I was so drunk, I was like, well, I don't want to use the elevator because I'm too drunk. So I walked into the stairs of the hotel. You know how each hotel has, like, st emergency stairs? So I was in there, and I, like, half passed out for, like, a half an hour because I was so tired. What the fuck? I didn't, and then I woke up in, like, a half an hour, and I was still drunk, like, real drunk. But I was looking, I was like, what the fuck? Like, where am I? And, like, why am I here? This is bad. If I get lost here, I'll never find my way around. <laughs> So then I went back to the, the hotel room where the party was, and it was lucky because like we were nearing the end of the, the party or whatever, and everyone was getting ready to go. I was like, oh shit, if I was just in here, no one would have ever known where I was. I would have slept drunk in this stairwell overnight and had to find my way back to the hotel across the other side of town by myself, and I didn't even know how to get there. Like, that would have been very bad. <laughs> I'd be like, whoa, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> that was the drunkest I ever was. I just completely lost lost my, my bearings or who I was or where I was or what I was doing. Now I get questions like, well, how does Asmund Gold do this or this or this? How do I know? Am I fucking Asmund Gold? Do I watch his content? I have no idea. I know nothing about the guy. Maybe he streams way more than me because he has that ability. Maybe. I don't know. I'm here six days a week full time. So I don't know how he could be streaming, you know, seven days a week more than full time. I don't know. You tell me. You watch him, not me, right? How would I answer a question like that? <laughs> I'm the last person to ask. I pay no attention to many of my contemporaries because uh, I try to do my own thing, right? What? No, I'll, okay, I'll ask an honest question because Dex says, you're stern in regards to your schedule. A lot of others aren't. They stay around till 3 a.m. They'll do 15 hours for three days to finish a game in three days. Do they not have families and or lives or responsibilities outside of streaming? I do. Like, if I played games for three straight days for 15 hours, I would never see my wife. Like, never. So... <laughs> I would have no time to spend with my, my family. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. How the hell are they living a life if they're sitting at their computer for 18 hours for three days straight? Then they're not spending any time with their family at all. 
So, I don't understand that. And again, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm asking. I'm not criticizing. I'm genuinely asking. And just being real talk with you guys. What kind of a life is that? If they're literally just on their streams endlessly and they never leave. Plus, by the way, you know that's incredibly unhealthy, right? Like, you should be taking time away, moving around, doing things off center, just sitting sedentary for 18 plus hours in one day. That's horrible for your health. Haseo says, that sounds like the life of someone who's single. I mean, maybe, but it's funny because people are like, no, they're, they're married. It's like, okay, so they're married, but do they actually have, like, a life is my question. If you, li if, like, let's say, for example, when Diablo came out, I literally just sat here for three straight days and only played Diablo for 18 hours for three days, and we beat the story in three days. I would not spend time with my family. I wouldn't be eating meals or being healthy. I would actually probably feel like shit after doing that. And my wife would probably be furious that I didn't even spend any time with her at all. Same thing, you know, she'd be doing everything in the house, all the chores, all the responsibilities, while I'm just sitting here fucking streaming a game for three straight days. You understand? So, how do they do it? I don't know. You'd have to go ask them. But I'm just telling you from a realist's perspective, there's no way I could maintain a real life if I was sitting here playing that long. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I had to do, you know, work-life balance is something that I had to adopt because I didn't used to do it. If you remember back in the day when I was single, that's exactly how I treated everything, right? It was just like, hey, I'll just do whatever and I'll play endlessly and I'll beat a game in two, three days. But that's because I literally had nothing to do. I had no family, no responsibilities. I could just fuck around endlessly. And now I, I, I'm different. I'm grown up, man, you know? I got a different life now, which I love. I love my life. It's super duper fun to have that kind of a life. And that's what I've always wanted. People became so fucking jealous. So I'm happy where I am, but I just don't understand how then people could complain. It's like, dude, maybe you, you think that the people who are doing that kind of crazy shit don't have a life. I don't know how they could. It's just, I, it's not, it's not feasible, you know? <laughs> I think maybe that's the challenge is I'm trying to maintain a real, a real normal life while I'm also being a streamer. And I think a lot of people who do this don't do that. They have these crazy lifestyles and shit. Like, I mean, not again, not that I'm criticizing. Have you seen the pictures of Asmongold's place? That it looks like he's a hoarder. It's full of trash and clothes and shit everywhere. It looks like a pigsty. And I'm not criticizing that. I'm just saying that's what it looks like. Because what do you do when you sit around for 18 fucking hours? That's what happens. Right? <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> but again... These are honest questions I'm asking. This is not a criticism. Hey, if these people can do it and actually have a real life and, and maintain all that, more power to them. I don't know how they do it, you know? Hey, that's just real talk, all right? See, but then you get morons who make fun of me. Oh, he doesn't have a family. Okay, fuck you. Yes, I do. Go fuck yourself. I hate people who say d disgusting shit like that. I don't have a family just because I don't have a human child. Apparently, I don't have a family. Okay, go fuck yourself. He can go fuck himself. Gothic bad boy, what does what you just said have anything to do with our discussion? He says, a lot of streamers exercise. That would make you feel better. What the fuck does that have to do with our discussion right now? We're talking about work-life balance and how people apparently are playing 18 hours on launch day with for three days of beating a game in three days. What does that have to do with me taking time out from streaming to exercise? <laughs> you want to talk like, what are you speaking of, right? It, it makes no sense what you're saying. You're, it's like you're trying to, you're just trying to get me in a gotcha moment. Oh, so you don't exercise. <laughs> what are you talking about? How does that even make sense? It makes no fucking sense at all, right? It makes zero sense. How does that make any sense? I do feel that there's just ridiculous, unfair comparisons between content creators. You gotta understand that everyone's different. Everyone is living a different life, and just because one person does something one way does not mean that's the way to do it. Nor does it mean that, you know, that they're any better or worse than anyone else. Obviously, anyone who has a following on the internet is doing it in a way that works for their viewers. So who are you to criticize and say, this is better, this is worse, right? I used to live that lifestyle, like, no exaggeration. I used to live that lifestyle where I would just sit there and just play endlessly before I was streaming and I was just doing the on-demand videos on YouTube. I would sit there and record endlessly because I had no family, no responsibilities, nothing to do but just play games all week. So that was me. And by the way, that was when I was at my most unhealthy. I was constantly drinking. I was eating unhealthy food because I didn't have time to cook because I was just recording constantly. That was the worst part of my life. Now I'm in a much, much, much better part of my life and I'm happy with the balance I have, but the trade-off is now I need time for personal life and therefore I can't sit here for 12, 14 hours playing games every day. You see? <clears throat> Around uh. here, even that's hard to come by.